Good morning, students. Uh, in the previous class, we discussed about the force and pressure. What are the types of force? What is pressure? What are the advantages and disadvantages of force? And then uh, some questions, some reasoning question in the, in this in that lesson. And today class, we will discuss about what is friction. That is lesson twelve. That the name is friction. What does it mean by friction? Friction is nothing but uh, the one force will be created between the moving of two objects. Uh, we have to rub our hands. The friction force will be created in between of our two hands. So any one thing it will be rolling or riding of two uh, things in between the two things. The one force will be created. That is friction. So how to create the friction? What's the usage of friction? What are the applications of uh, friction? And how to increase the friction? How to decrease the friction? That all are we will discuss about in this session. Okay. So what is friction first? The friction is a one type of force. It will be oppose the motion of any one object. Suppose I take this uh, duster. The duster will be trying to move on my hands. But the duster will be giving the one force to my hand. And then my hand will be applying the opposite force to the uh, moving duster. Okay. For duster, I hand to rub my hand. The duster will move the hand will be giving the opposite force to the motion of duster. Okay. That is the friction. So friction is always oppose the motion of any one object. So clear that how to define the friction. Friction is one type of force. It will be oppose the motion of moving object. Clear that? Then what is the cause of friction? Which one it will be create the friction? What are the causes of friction means? First, you have to identify any one object. The top side of the object, it will be having the surface, it will be smooth or uh, rough. First, you have to check the top surface, that the surface it will be rough or smooth. And you have to analyze the inner side of the surface by using the powerful microscope. The inner side of the, uh, any one substance, if some irregularity is there. Even the duster, and by using the microscope, it will be view the inside of the duster. The inside the duster, some irregularities there. What is the meaning that irregularities? Then, uh, I explain one. Taking one object, the top side will be very smooth, but the inside is some gap is there. Some irregularity is there. That the irregularities will be giving the friction first. Okay? So, what is the causes of friction? Causes of friction is nothing but uh, some irregularity is in the any one thing, it will be create the friction of the moving object. Okay? That is substance cooler irregularity. Irregularity is not only one thing, it gap. And the gap is in the thing, move on the other thing. That is causes of friction. And third, second one is factors affecting friction. What are it will be affecting the friction? What are the factors it will be affecting the friction? Suppose one friction is there. Okay? Um, uh, take one ball, it will be kept to move in the rough surface and then uh, smooth surface, solid surface, polished surface. One ball at the ball rough surface, move polished surface. Move on. In the surface, move on, the ball is easier move on, polished surface because polished surface is giving the little much friction to the ball, but rough surface will be giving the greater friction there to the ball because rough surface is having some. Uh, uh, bending portion is there. Some irregularity is in the top side of the surface. So it will be giving the opposed force to uh, uh, movement of ball. Okay. So the friction will be uh, factors will be affecting the friction. One area of contact and another one is types of surface of contact. Types of surface of contact depend upon the completely depend upon the surface and then mass of the object. Mass of the object means you take the two iron balls, one ball will be heavy and another one ball will be lightweight. The heavier ball, uh, both of them will be try to move to the one side to another one side. Which one will be moving faster? The lightweight ball, it will be moving faster than the heavyweight metal ball. It will, it will be clear that uh, the heavyweight object does not move in. It will be, up, uh, it will be easy, it try to move the oppose uh, of Friction. Friction is opposed to move and try. Pannu. But if the mass is heavier, it will be easier to move. So, the friction will be depend upon the two factors. One is types of the surface. That the surface is smooth or polished. And second one is the mass of the object. Mass of the object means that the object will be heavy or uh, lightweight. 
that is the way the friction will be acted so the factors is affecting the friction is two one types of the surface and second one mass of the object okay and go for the next one that is types of friction types of frictions are not to be classified into two types and three types and some types but friction will be explained in the various types are uh, having the various types of frictions what is that various types of friction means first static friction static friction what is that static friction static friction is nothing but any one thing within the contact it will be in a rest position that the friction is static friction that the two object will be in a static position it will be in a rest position but with the contact so i keep the duster in my hand both of them will be in a rest position but some contact is there some force is in between the my hand and duster that is called static friction so static friction means two object will be in a rest within the contact that is static friction and second one is limiting friction what is that limiting friction limiting friction is nothing but the friction will be uh, i will give one example to that explain that limiting friction take one brick and then connected uh, one end of the thread the brick it will be connected is one end of the thread the other end of the thread will be connected to the spring balance okay and then both of them it will be keep on the table and you uh, pull the spring balance it will try to move the brick okay but the brick is does not move uh, frequently you have to apply the force on the spring balance it will be try to move through the next side i will uh, explain that or a brick eduthukonga adha or side la or thread la one side la connect panikonga and the thread da inner side la spring balance oda connect panikonga adha or table mele vechukonga okay or a table adha mele brick adoda spring balance connect aayiruk you push the spring balance you apply the force on the spring balance the object try to move to the next step okay so that's the limit with the limit the friction will be applied the force will be applied the friction will be overcome it will start to move that is the limiting friction so what's the limit that object will be in a stable and then try to move the next part எந்த இடத்துல ஸ்டேபிளாகவே இருக்கு இருந்துகிட்டு ட்ரை பண்ண ஆரம்பிக்கிறதோ தட் இஸ் லிமிட்டிங் ஃபிக்ஷன் அண்ட் தேர்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஸ்லைடிங் ஃபிக்ஷன் தட் த சேம் ஆக்டிவிட்டி யூ ஹாவ் டு அப்ளை த ஃபோஸ் ஆன் த ஸ்ப்ரிங் பேலன்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆல்வேஸ் ஸ்டேபிள் பொஷன் தட் இஸ் ஸ்டேட்டிக் ஃபிக்ஷன் அண்ட் ட்ரை டு மூவ் தட் இஸ் அ லிமிட்டிங் ஃபிக்ஷன் அண்ட் இட் வில் பி ஸ்லைட் ஓவர் த டெஸ்க் ஓகே சப்போஸ் மை ஹேண்ட் இட் யூ ஹேவ் டு கன்சர்ஸ் அ டெஸ்க் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் த பிரிக் இட் வில் பி lie in the one side you pushing them first uh, try to move first in the middle stable and try to move and then it will be slid over on the desk that is sliding friction so friction is between the moving duster and my hand so friction is mean between the my hand and then uh, moving duster that is called sliding friction and third one is rolling friction rolling friction means you have to apply the force on the object the object will be rolled over the surface what is the meaning that rolled over the surface you take on ball okay you have to apply the force on the ball the ball it will be rolling and then uh, it will be move from one point to another point that is called rolling friction so four types of friction that is static limiting sliding and rolling static friction means ninga evlo force apply pannalum and object move aagam irukum then then the object kadile friction irukum but in the rest position that is called static friction limiting friction means that the object will be try to move you have to apply the force okay that is limiting friction sliding friction means one object will be slide over the surface by applying the force that is called sliding friction rolling friction means one object will be rolling on the table by applying the force by the activity of the bricks it will be keeping on the table or it will be connected with the spring balance you apply the force on the spring balance the object will be moving one point or another that is all are the examples of static limiting and sliding and rolling static friction is very much higher than the all the friction okay static friction is very much greater than the all the friction and sliding friction <coughs> sliding friction it will be little much less than than the static friction and rolling friction is all a maximum small uh, than the sliding and static friction idu da greatest friction okay and sliding friction is less than than the static rolling is less than than the sliding okay and then i will give one another one example to explain that rolling friction it will be less than than the sliding friction what is rolling friction 
on the friction the object will be rolling on the surface but sliding it will be slide over the surface okay so that the two friction rolling friction is very much less than the sliding friction i uh, explain one activity that is you take the three cap bottle cap and uh, one two three three caps it will be mentioned the first cap will be very much smaller than the two other two first gap cap it will be uh, very much smaller than the second and three and second it will be in the medium, medium medium size and third one it will be greater size than the first two okay so you have to three cap and uh, uh, you try to this uh, first you take the second cap second cap and then and then you have to fix the first cap inside of the second cap okay so that is a third one sorry first one that is the second one and you have to fix the top side of the second one that is the third one okay so three cap it will be fixed that is the third second one first one and third one moonu moodi eduthukonga okay cap eduthukonga first one vandu first uh, second three evida small and second one vandu medium size and third one one uh, it will be greater size first second ku la first vachi adukku mele third avainga okay cap three cap vachi if you try to move on the uh, third on the top side of the second one sorry first one first one ku mele kudiya moodi adjust pannunga it will be easily move no because uh, it will be some prediction is applied to the second one third one the second mele idikiradanal enna seiyum force vandu adhigama kadikadu so easy a slide aagadu easy a move aagadu suppose we keep the uh, marbles we keep the marbles is in between the second and third and two naduvula nariya marbles podringa nu vechukonga ipdi first cap irukku second cap irukku adukulla first cap irukku adukku mele third cap irukku the second and first ku naduvula nariya marbles podringa nu vechukonga the marbles it will be giving the friction to the third uh, top side of the cap so easily is move on the first one so ninga adukapra adjust panum bodhu enna agum and the marbles mele roll aagi easy ah the third cap it will be move on to the first one so this is the way it will be increasing the friction it will be easily move on to the another one side that the part marble is there the rolling friction it will be created that the rolling friction it will be less than the sliding friction but it will be used to easily move the objects so that is the example for a uh, uh, rolling friction is less than the sliding friction okay and then uh, types of friction static limiting sliding and rolling first what is friction what are the causes of friction what are the factors affecting friction <coughs> now i had explained the types of friction then we will go for advantages of friction what are the advantages of friction friction solro adala enna use that is advantages of friction advantages of friction means friction is nothing but it will be one object will be moving over on the another one object so in between gap one, one force it created that is friction what is the use of friction um the friction is in between uh, in between of your leg and the ground it will be easy to uh, walk okay nama kaal ku floor ku edaila friction illa appadina nammala walk panna mudiyuma mudiyad so we can we can't walk without the friction is in between our our leg and then ground so the friction will be easy to walk it will be used used to, to easy to walk okay and then right right means your pen it will be tip on your paper it will be easy to write no touching no friction is there the pen cannot write the any one on on the paper okay so friction will be used to can write anything on the paper and third one you use a friction and then you hammer a nail on the wooden board always use the upside force the nail will be under to the smart board or a Uh, not a smart board or a card board okay so the hammer and nail on the wooden board by using the friction and fourth one cutting things scissors and knives having it be easily contact with the vegetables and fruits so cannot contact cannot the friction is in between the scissors and uh, paper or uh, knives and fruits without the friction they they didn't cut anything so the cutting things by use the friction to cut any one okay so the brakes brakes in the automobiles we use the brakes to stop the car as uh, to stop the vehicles without the brake without the contact of tire and the ground 
break is not there so break is not there the friction is not there the vehicle does not start it will be easily moved to the frequently it will be moved to the another one side so brakes will be uh, used in the automobiles by using the friction to move to the one side to stop the car or stop the vehicle anything so uh, the, these are the advantages of friction so by using the friction it is easy to walk and easy to ride and uh, uh, easy to hammer a nail on the wooden board and easy cut the things by using the knives and scissors and third one brakes the friction of brakes it will be used to stop the vehicles uh, stop the automobiles and go for the next one that is the disadvantages of friction what are the disadvantages of friction friction one uh, one thing it will be moving on to the another one thing uh, the friction will be helpful or not helpful sometimes the friction will be helpful to do the activity but sometimes it will be drawback of do any one activity but all are it will be uh, recognize uh, sorry uh, discuss with this topic that is the disadvantages of friction one is frictions always oppose the motion of object what is that or at the friction irukku nechukonga or thing is easy a move aidu friction is there it will be oppose the motion of the object slowly is a moving object friction is there it will be stuck to the point so always friction will be oppose the motion oppose the motion of the object and second one frequently the machinery parts uh, friction is there rendu machine one 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 roll aagide irukku nechukonga continuously uh, wear and tear is there tear is means rendu idu vandu rub aagide irukna and adhu theenjirum la that is called wear and tear so some heavy machines wear and tear is will be always present in due to friction and then soles in uh, shoes chappal ke keela kude bottom surface ke always you have to walk due to the friction it will be uh, wear and tear is there and adhu theenjirum la soles in the shoes will be uh, reduced due to the wear and tear part of the friction and third one sometimes the friction will be continuously in the machinery past heat will be produced that the heat does not use to, to activate the any one thing but the heat energy will be lost by to the surroundings so the heat will be is not useful due to the friction so that all are the disadvantages of friction one is oppose the motion second one the friction is always wear and tear the machines and wear and tear the soles of the shoes and always produce the heat but the heat is does not used to working on any one instrument but the heat energy will be very much lost to the surroundings and how to increase the friction advantage is, is there so the increasing the friction it will be easy to uh, it will it will be useful to uh, many activities or many functions so how to increase the friction in your shoes brake shoes brake shoes means automobiles uh, must make the brake Uh, due to the friction part friction is used panni da brake is used machirukanga automobiles la brake illana already i told without the brake the automobiles does not start and it will be frequently moved to the other one side so brake shoes uh, it will be used to to increasing the friction and then second one grooves in soles of shoes shoes la uh, bottom side la chala chappal la pathinga appadina back side la line line la potirukom okay uh, more and more shoes are uh, chappals is made the bottom side will be more and more lines is there that the lines is a grooves in soles that the lines will be easy to walk easy easy a walk pandrathu oru vela valu valu irukku nechukonga easy a skid aayirum some gap irukka nal chinna chinna prediction irundhalo adukulla poi irundhukku so easily nama walk aaga mudiyum so that is a grooves in soles will be used to increase the friction and trades in tires you have to see the tires in the automobiles and then in uh, car car la ulla tire um mobile um, not a mobile uh, bike la ulla tires um pathinga nariya lines irukum and the line will be easily to move the the car it will be easily move to the road move on the road by using the trades in tires tire la ulla kula trades moolama easy a move agumudiyad that all are the increasing the friction that the friction will be used to to stop the vehicle and easily to walk on the road okay so one is brake shoes and grooves in soles and trades in tires okay so brakes use will be in this part brake shoes the increasing the friction will be used to to stop the vehicle and second part grooves in soles will be easy to it will be useful to easily walk on the road and third one trades in tires it will be uh, the vehicles uh, having the trades in tires will be easily move on the road okay 
So, then for la seventh one, decreasing friction. How to decrease the friction? <coughs> much of uh, how much amount of friction is there? How to reduce the friction on the any one thing? Or thing or girl, and a friction or girl, they have to reduce panna abdi na. Suppose you take consider as a carom board, the coin is frequently does not is moving. The powder will be sprinkling on the carom board. Uh, the powder will be reducing the friction, so the carom coin will be moving easily without the sliding. So um, move on to the powder. The some friction is there, so reducing the friction, the coin will be easily move on the carom board. So first spring sprinkling of sprinkle the powder on the carom board that is reducing the friction. That all are the some example of increasing and reducing friction. That all that only the increasing and decreasing friction करेगा. इधर मतलना way करेगा. This is giving some example to how to the way of increasing friction, how to the way of decreasing friction. And second one, heavy engines and bicycles having uh, tires having some reducing the friction. Oil or uh, grease will be applying on the wheels and then machinery parts reduce the friction. The machinery uh, wear and tear is will be reduced. Okay. Mission के अड़े लेने आये लोग grease आप उठेंगे ना इन्हों को जनाले कर रहे हैं अड़े लेते हैं माने इल्लम. So that is the oil and grease will be applied on the machinery parts. It will be reducing the friction and uh, it will be prolong the life of. It will be increase the prolong life of the machinery parts. And then ball bearing. Ball bearing will be used to, to decrease the friction. Cycle ला पता किंगला cycle tire ला ball bearing रखो. Then ball bearing and then uh, suitcase vehicle को बड़े simple tire बना की ला. And the tire ला ball bearing रखो. So the ball bearing will be it will be used to, to easily rolling on any one object. So ball bearing is always used to, to reduce the friction. So that all are the decreasing friction. What are the, what are the ways decreasing friction on any one object? First one. That all all the example not an exact one. Uh, first one sprinkling a powder powder on the carom board and applying grease or uh, oil on the machinery parts and ball bearing will be used to. Um, uh, ball bearing is a very. I will give one example for ball bearing. So you have to consider as a heavy object. Does not uh, does not cannot. Uh, or a very object at the green chunga. And the object is easier to roll. Pani at the bottom here. But की लो नरेयर rolling object पोटिंग ना, for example a very huge book, okay? You take the very huge book, but you cannot write uh, slide over on the desk. But you keep the pencil on the bottom of the book, so easily roll on the pencil and then easily take over to the one side to another side. That is all are the example of ball bearing. Ball bearing is the working is the same way. It will be moving in any one heavy objects. And then last one is fluid fluid friction. What does it mean? Be fluid. Fluid is is the flowing objects. What are the flowy flowing objects? Liquid and gases. Liquid and gases is is called as a fluids. So fluids friction means always uh, liquid is exerts a force. That force line, the force exerts by the liquid is called track. So suppose we consider the uh, water in the container. Uh, container uh, the waters give the upward force. So the force is applied by a liquid is called track. The force applied by the liquid. For liquid, and you get the meaning. Now the liquid, main like your force apply pon. That is, uh, the liquid is applying the upward force on any one object that is called track. So you try to immerse one object into the water surface against the track. It, uh, that is the part. The friction is there. That is the fluid friction. Fluid friction is nothing but is a try to any one object will be immersed on the water surface that the object will be contact with the water and then fluid friction is will be acting between the water and the object and uh, giving the lot of force to the uh, applying on the object the object will be frequently will be immersed to the water surface but that the time the friction force will be greater than the track track ka vida adhigama irundha da enna seiyum and the object will be immersed on that is a fluid friction Fluid friction by applying the liquid part, but gaseous force. Airplane is made will be now uh, maximum will be the airplane will be made in a streamlined shape. The streamlined shape will be reducing the friction in the gas, sorry, in the atmosphere, and um, easily uh, reduce the air friction on the atmosphere. So easily is move on to move on the atmosphere. Okay, then that is the fluid friction and gas friction. 
So there are all other topics that will be explained in the friction. First one is what is friction and what are, what are the causes of friction? How to create the, how to uh, stimulate the friction on the any one subside or how to create the friction? What is the object will be create the friction? That is the causes of friction. What are the factors affecting the friction? What are the factors affecting the friction? One, types of surface. The surface is smooth or polished. It will be easily, um, easily affect the friction. And then mass of the object, heavy or light. Heavy object is giving the, um, heavy object will easily reduce the friction. But lighter object will be increase in friction, it will be move on to the another one side. So the factors affecting friction, that is the types of surface and mass of the subject. And types of friction, static, limiting, sliding and rolling. Static means one object rest layer is not like friction. Limiting try to move that is a limiting friction. Sliding is a slide, one object is slide over on the surface that is a sliding friction. Rolling friction, one object will be roll on the one sur surface that is called rolling friction. And advantages of friction, friction will be used to work on the surface, easy to write on the, uh, write anything on the paper and easy to hammer a nail on the wooden board and easy to cut any one vegetables and uh, uh, fruits by using the knives or scissors and brakes in the automobiles will be in the advantages of friction. What are the disadvantages of friction? Always the friction will be opposed the motion. Always it will be create the wear and tear in the machinery parts and wear and tear the soles of the shoes and heat will be always produced in the friction that the heat energy does not use by the phenomenon of friction but it will be based to the surroundings. And increase in the friction. How to increase the friction? In the shoes, the brake Brake shoes will be used in the automobiles and that the way the increasing friction, the, the brake it will be applied, the vehicle to be stopped. That is the increasing friction. And grooves in soles, the grooves will be used to increase in the friction. That the way the friction, that the use is a friction, the uh, zoos, uh, sorry, uh, soles in the shoes will be, does not tear, okay. The trays and tires, tire level tear, trays will be easy to will be useful to easy the vehicles on the road and decreasing friction. Sprinkle the powder on the carom board and applying the oil or grease in the missionary paths and ball bearing will be used to uh, move to move the heavy object to one, one point to another point. And last one is fluid friction. Fluid friction is nothing but the force exerted by the fluids is called track. Any one object will be trying to move the against the track part one friction will be acting that is a fluid friction and fluid friction will be greater greater of the sometimes it will be greater than the track it will be easily zimmers on the liquid and then gas friction gas friction means uh, make uh, all the things will be in a streamlined shape and the streamlined shape it will be reduce the gas friction it will be easily move on the atmosphere that all are the uh, concept will be di we discussed we had discussed in the friction okay what is the homework today ma'am That is our home assignment for today. Learn the advantages and the disadvantages of friction. So learn and write the home assignment. Learn and write the advantages and disadvantages of friction. Disadvantages of friction. So learn and write the advantages of and uh, advantages and disadvantages of friction. Uh, suppose uh, before that you learn this question. First you read thoroughly in this lesson and then after you have to learn advantages and disadvantages of